Cognito for a change. Uh huh. Uh. You can use your guitar as a drum. Topping the sound box and forming a chord, not only did you get the drum tap, but you also get the chord sound as well. Improvisation. That's just playing around with on a on a particular scale. Um, just fooling around like. suddenly hit up on a sequence of notes that sounds quite good and uh, you can turn that into uh, either a, a pop song or a um, an instrumental number but generally speaking you need two themes for a pop, either a pop song or a a um, instrumental number one of them becomes the theme for the verses and the other becomes the chorus theme or refrain would you like to call it uh, but by playing notes you'll suddenly see to jump an entire scale in other words go from um, G to C on, on, on a different octave um, a lot of pop songs have been used going from um, the, the lower note in the scale to the higher note you'll probably playing around um, and play around the chord because if you play around the chord and you may hit up on something be very careful though because you may hit up on something that somebody's already written and has got copyright on <laughs> um, but there are only seven different notes um, if you ignore the sharps and flats and the only difference between one tune and another could just be the length of the note um, the timing between the notes the number of beats in the bar uh, you can play the same tune the same sequence of notes and get an entirely different tune um, for instance, you can, um, instead of playing a note once, there's a three note sequence, but if you do, 
it's a totally different tune or if you run it back downwards three notes there um, in different sequences and different uh, different timings and different patterns and you're getting totally different um, sounds each time and um, don't be afraid to use chromatics that's to say that's going up semitones and down semitones um, and that same thing again you go um, if you hit up on something that sounds okay um, try to build on it memorize it and add try and lengthen it out um, so there's more notes to it. Don't be afraid to repeat a certain phrase. If you hit upon what sounds like a catchy phrase to you, don't be afraid to uh, repeat it a few times. And remember, you look at some of the Beatles stuff, the big hits, it's very, very simple, basic melody. Because the way the brain works, the simpler and easier the melody is, it's easier for a person to remember it. And uh, and therefore it catches on easier. Um, you you know the, the uh, most important part of the song is those first three or four bars. Um, a guitar introduction to a song to a song could make or break it. Um, you've got something like this. mostly right hand that makes the difference um, timing and patterning and beat and you find, you'll find that you'll be able to work out some songs um, it's probably easier actually to uh, write a poem first and then uh, and then uh, sit down the guitar and try chord sequences with it and when, once you've got a chord pattern that that fits it, you can then use these runs and that, that to um, match it. A uh, neat little trick with a guitar is to repeat the last three or four notes of a song after the vocalist is finished. In other words, um, the vocalist goes, You are my sunshine, and you play. After they finished. 